Hagia Sophia is a very old and famous building in Istanbul, Turkey. It was first built as a Christian cathedral by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I in the year 537 AD. It was really big and beautiful with a huge dome and colorful mosaics inside. For about a thousand years, it was the main church for the Byzantine Empire. 100 masters, 10,000 workers. They work day and night and they finished, they completed it in five years. Between 500. In 1453, when the Ottoman conquered Constantinople, which is now Istanbul, they turned Hagia Sophia into a mosque. Because of COVID restrictions, when the group of people come out, as you can see, the people are coming out from this door, and then we will go in. These two minarets, as you can see, these are recently uh, constructed after changing Hagia Sophia into mosque. And some saints and crosses also you will see inside. Okay. And angels pictures, four different angels uh, in the dome. In the dome we will see them. After waiting like 20 minutes entering Aya Sophia, so many people. I think first we will go to security check. This way, Daniel Gibran. So we enter into the compound of Hagia Sophia. Going to make Bazu first to pray Zohor. Then we will enter through here. Yeah. Yahan se enter ho jayenge. So people are still entering. What is this one? Uh, Hagia Sophia built in the history three times. Okay. The first one is from wood and burned in a fire. Okay. And the second one, it was here and then uh, collapsed in a oh, okay. fire lights. And you can see ships, the symbol of uh, 12 friends of Prophet Isa. Seven friends of Isa. Prophet Isa al Islam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> cat? They're everywhere. Yeah, one cat sitting here, one cat in there. So Hagia Sophia is like destroyed by the pre previous armies. So these are the remains of the I mean destruction. It was reconstructed so many times. ये जो है पहले वाला है सोफिया के निशानियां रखी हुई हैं इन्होंने यहां पे तो पूरा जमा किया दिस इज द बाजू एरिया ऑफ हाया सोफिया ये बाजू एरिया ऑफ हाया सोफिया सो ऑटोमंस आफ्टर कॉन्करिंग दिस स्पेस एडेड सम मिनारेट्स एंड चेंज सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द बिल्डिंग टू फिट इस्लामिक वर्शिप in 1935, after Turkey became a republic, Hagia Sophia was turned into a museum. This meant people from all over the world could visit and learn about its history. However, in 2020, it was changed back into a mosque again. This decision caused a lot of discussion and debate because Hagia Sophia is important to both Christians and Muslims and many people see it as a symbol of religious and cultural harmony. Today, it continues to be a landmark that tells the story of Istanbul's rich history and diverse heritage. Come here. Can we take our shoes? We will take our shoes here, but before going inside, I will show you that picture. When you look up, you can see the picture of this is not original uh, Jesus, but people imagine it like this, okay? And 1000 years ago, 
they did this picture. In the middle, Jesus, and right side, this is Gabriel Angel, and this is Mother Mary, and this is Leo the Sixth, Emperor Leo the Sixth, kneeling and showing respect. Mother, uh, the kneeling guy, who is? Uh, Emperor Leo. Emperor Leo is kneeling, uh, kneeling to the Jesus. Jesus in the middle. Middle. And the Gabriel Angel. Gabriel Angel on the black, left. Black color and the right color. This is uh, Gabriel Angel. Gabriel Angel. Yeah. Okay. And you can see cross. A cross, yeah. There is a cross. Yeah. Cross on the right side and cross on the left side of Jesus Christ or Hazrat Isa. Right now inside the Hagia Sophia. Oh, that's good. We are putting our shoes here inside. You can put here. Okay. So we are inside the Hagia Sophia. Beautiful. This is prayer area for women. This area? Yeah. It's a prayer area for the women. So there are some different barriers of so people who completed their tour, they are going out. I think they didn't allow for ladies to enter here for because play time in this kind of okay. castle. In this lovely building, you can see things from both Muslim and Christian religions. It was broken down two times and rebuilt a third time. For many years, it was damaged by wars and fights, and some parts fell apart because nobody took care of it. It was always in danger of falling apart until Fateh Sultan Mehmet Khan conquered Istanbul. Hagia Sophia features some beautiful calligraphy, particularly from its time as a mosque during the Ottoman Empire. The calligraphy adorns the interior walls of the building and includes verses from the Quran, Islamic prayers. We are moving towards prayer area. This place was Amphalion. Amphalion. Uh, Amphalion. Amphalion was the. Our crown wear the king. Okay. They were wearing crown here in this place. Okay, this is the in crown. In the middle, they were putting a throne. Throne. And around the uh, throne, the statement and religion men, they were standing and they were doing a ceremony. Ceremony. In For Roman the throne. Times. Throne ceremony. Not in Ottoman times, in okay. Roman times. In Roman times. And there is the mihrab after converted into mosque. They changed inside, converted into mosque, they added mihra, mimbar, This is a mimbar. What is this? Mu'azzin mahfil. Mu'azzin mahfil. Mu mu like the Bully okay. Mosque I okay. showed you. So this is the Mu'azzin mahfil. Yeah. And the Sultan Lodge. This private Sultan Lodge. This private Sultan Lodge. Edited nature as a gift by Ahmed Shkir. Edited nature as a gift by Kansan Lodge. Excuse me. Madam, exit From Europe. From Hungary, as a gift to Allah, Jalla Jalali, Muhammad Ali, that's made of Abu Bakr, Abu Allah, Abu Bakr, Raja Allah, Umar, Raja Allah, Umar, Raja Allah, Umar, Raja Allah, Umar, Raja Allah, Osman, Amir, Ali, from all around the world, I will show you, Ali, Hussein, Sultan Kattu, Hussein, Hussein, Hassan, Sayyidah, Sayyidah, Bissura, what are you? Picture of angels right there. Her face open on the other carpet. Her face is covered by? Yeah, her face is open. Open. Open, but the other three carpets. They are covered? Yeah. Okay. They are angels, right? Angels. And for, for different angels. Okay. This is another angel. Up, uh, upstairs galleries close to visitors now. 
up. It's time for Zohar prayer. Now here at Hagia Sophia, you will see shortly a man standing on the roof of uh, Moses Bafil will say Takbir to start the Zohar prayer. Our people are moving forward. inside Hagia Sophia and it was amazing. We even took a break to pray Zohar inside which was a really special moment. Check out this cool Ottoman style water fountain we found here. It's not just for looks, it's actually designed to collect water for animals like cats and birds. Pretty neat right? After exploring the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia, we are off to the Grand Bazaar next. Can't wait to see what pressure we will find here. Stay tuned for more adventures. Thanks.